to part two of three, uh, talking about uh, strategy and blitz, and this time we're covering time and space. Time is a really easy concept. It uh, involves both the game clock as well as a team's movement through space and how long it takes them to move through space. It also involves the tempo of the battle, whether the battle is slow, normal, or fast paced. Setting the tempo during a battle makes your opponent move to counter your moves and that's an advantageous position to be in. Usually an advantage in time equates to an advantage in force, so it's worth keeping control of time. Mad rushes very rarely work and usually when they break down and they fail, the rest of the team has to scramble and slow down so you lose time. Camping at spawn as well as excessive chatting usually also result in too much lost time and lost force. When you gain advantages in time during a battle, it means you can get more tanks into one area and have greater force in that area than your opponents. Forcing your opponents to duck into cover or retreat or relocate as well as capping all give you advantages in time. This short battle is a great example of a high tempo and we're starting here 30 seconds in I apologize I accidentally deleted the audio track so I just dropped in a little bit of background music here if you notice on the minimap our team is still forming up and moving into the area we lost a little bit of time at spawn and we have to make that up but luckily uh, the team gets together here and we fight a pretty fast-paced battle we don't let up and that gives us our time back that we lost in the beginning by maintaining a high attack tempo, a small group of tanks can actually work almost like a larger group of tanks. I was about to go after that Valentine when the T-46 gets my attention. So here I keep a high rate of fire. I don't let up. As soon as I'm reloaded, I try to get another round into him. I want to get rid of this guy as fast as possible to go help my teammates with that Valentine. After I get rid of this T-46, I start moving up and I realized there's on the minimap there's three of my teammates fighting the Valentine already. So my two teammates down near the cap circle need my help but more than the other three. Again, just trying to keep the pressure up with a, a decent high rate of fire on this target. The sooner I get rid of this guy, the sooner I can go help out with that Valentine or that M3. I abandoned the T28 here because the Valentine can't wait anymore. He's stealing back the tempo of the battle. The tide is shifting because of this guy, so he's got to be dealt with now. Notice the cap timer is going as well. Our team is capping the base and fighting at the same time, which is a very good thing to do because it puts all sorts of pressure on the enemy team to do something. Now that the Valentine's been dealt with, two of us are freed up and we've regained our tempo and our force in the battle. And there you have it. To summarize, move quickly, don't waste time in spawn, chatting or camping. And keep a good tempo in the battle. Don't let up. Don't let your enemy catch the breath. Time is really the easiest strategic principle to grasp and the easiest to implement. It's just really common sense. Now we get to space. Space is about map control. 
Map control is gained through line of sight, and line of sight allows you to apply force. When you squeeze your opponents into a smaller space, that is map control. More space through map control gives you the best opportunity to win. Working together to capture elevated positions such as hills can give you huge gains in space and map control. To get the team on board with capturing the best positions, lead the way, use humor if you can. Uh, I find it helps a lot to use keyboard shortcuts to speed things up. It's been my observation in game that controlling a greater amount of space by mid game usually results in a victory. Scouting and spotting are important to use the space properly that you've captured. And remember, don't camp. If you don't have a shot, move to a better position. We'll finish this video up with another short battle. And in this battle, you'll notice that our team uses space to good effect and we actually squeeze the opposing team into an ever increasingly small area of the map. I won't say much more through the rest of this panel except to say that we could have done a little bit better in terms of force by sticking together but you'll notice that at one point I pause and wait for my teammates to come up closer so we have more force in that area before I launched into an attack. Here I'm just watching the minimap waiting for my teammates to move up before I go into attack mode. If you notice the minimap right now, you'll see just how squeezed in our opponents are. Thanks for watching. This wraps up this video on time and space. And uh, be sure to look out for the third part, which we'll talk about pawn structure, or rather, how the concept of pawn structure applies in Blitz. Hope you liked what you saw. Thanks for watching.